Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jitesh and I am a data engineer. Today we are diving into one of the basic topic in Azure. The topic we are going to cover is Azure Email Communication Service for sending an email. Let's get started. This is the agenda we are going to cover. Azure Email Communication Service is scalable, secure and reliable cloud-based solution that allows you to send and receive emails at scale. So if you, you want to send emails to thousands of the people at a time, that you can achieve with this service. Uh, in this video, we will be covering the topics visible on the screen. We will we will do hands-on on creating and managing Azure communication service resources, provisioning Azure managed domain, creating and managing email communication service resources, connecting a verified email domain, uh, and sending an email using Python SDK. I will show you the code. So let's start hands-on. I will show you how to set up Azure email communication service step by step. I am logging into Azure portal. So I have this subscription and there I have created this resource group called Learn with Jitesh. So here uh, first I will show how to create email communication service resource. So uh, go to the marketplace and search for email communication service. So here it is, email communication services. Uh, so let's click on create. We will fill this basic details. So resource group, I will select learn with Jitesh. The subscription I have is pay as you go. I will name this resource as email communication service for learning yeah the region is global and it is default data location i will select india as i am from india we'll hit next here we can assign tags so let's let's like creator and name it jitesh click next now we will review the details we have we have written in the previous steps and then we will create hit create so now our resource is being provisioned okay so our our deployment is completed so we will go to the resource and and this is it the email communication service resource is provisioned and it is here now we will need another resource like uh, as i have shown in the will provision azure managed domain so that we can do with uh, provisioning domain under setting option there is menu item that that says provision domains so here we can provision azure hosted domains or we can also set up set up a custom domain in upcoming videos i will show how to set up a custom domain uh, for now we will use this azure do subdomain you just need to click this button and as we can see the azure domain is now provisioned and it is deployed now email domain is provisioned uh, so we will go back to the uh, to the home and then azure portal home and then we will create a communication service azure communication service resource which we will where we will connect the domain 
so search for communication services and select it and create a resource communication service resource then this is tags creator we will verify the details and hit create so now the deployment is in progress our resource deployment is completed let's go to the resource and here in the in the menu like we will see email so as we are trying to send an email using azure Remix, azure communication service we will select email and we will connect a domain to it the domain we have we have just created in the in the previous steps so we will click on connect domains and we will see we will select the resource group where we had created those domains so resource group is learn learn with jitesh and email service <laughs> we will say select email communication service for learning and we will select the azure hosted domain so this will be the like from address from mail mail from address and that's and other details like this we will see in like coming steps and we will click connect Yeah, domain successfully connected. So we can see connected domains here. When we click it, we can see the like details like email communication service we are in. So now we have provisioned two, two resources called as email communication service and uh, Azure communication service. And now, uh, and then we have like in email, email communication service we have provisioned the domain and this domain we have connected in the uh, in the communication service here so this is the part uh, we have to like uh, create and uh, and configure in the azure portal now we can try sending an email let's try so uh, in the communication service under email there is try email button which allows us to to send an email using uh, like using a form like structure uh, this this is for testing we will we will uh, like we will see how we can do that with code so select a domain this is the domain we have like uh, hosted sender is do not reply the the sender can be added like we we will see those in those adding senders and all in the upcoming videos recipient email i will insert my email here contact at jiteshroud.me and uh, test email from i will i will change the subject to from communication service for learn learning and hello world via email and i will click seal send
now this is for testing and it says email sent successfully so i have my email opened here and we can see now it's 15 hours 53 minutes so now we have received the email saying test the email from communication service for learning and the content so same we will try with the code in the vs code uh, so i have this repository in github uh, i have created this in github and there i have like uh, created a python file uh, send email ac um, azure communication service email client so this code you can you can use for testing uh, so i have this code uh, like copied in the vs code so i will head on to the vs code so here in the code we need connection string to the email communication communication service we will head back to the azure portal and see where we get that so in the communication for uh, communication service for learning we will go to the the setting menu and we will click on the keys we will see uh, we can see here we are getting connection string endpoint and other secondary connection string we can just copy one connection string from the primary key we have copied it this communication string is in the communication service is and not in the email communication service so remember that in communication service we have to go to go to settings uh, and under settings there is a key option click on the key option and copy the connection string this connection string we will we will paste in the code or snippet from address we will get this from the email communication service itself now we can copy it from the try email uh, section that select a domain not reply and here it is so this is the from address so do not reply at the rate this is the resource id of azure communication service and dot azure azure com dot net this is the sender address in the recipient i have uh, added my email address contact at the rate jiteshrout.me and in the subject i will write test email from azure communication service vs code now let's try running this code and let's go to the inbox and refresh the inbox and see if email is received i am yet to receive email i think yeah i have received an email called test email from acs vs code and hello world via email so this was it so that's it for today's video uh, i will continue on how to configure email communication service for sending emails using smtp in the next coming upcoming videos thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe for more tutorials if you have any queries questions or topics you want me to cover uh, leave a comment below on a con or contact me on the contact details given on the screen thank you see you next time